well, my opinion, I think that um, you've had a pretty illustrious career so far. I mean, you look back on uh, what you've been able to do in, in your short career, and you've been able to do things that players over the span of their entire careers have been able to do. I mean, in 2008, you played in your first World Series. 2009, you played in your first All-Star game. Uh, coincidentally, it was at Bush Stadium in St. Louis where you grew up watching uh, watching Ozzie Smith and the Cardinals play. Um, and recently, I mean, right now you're the league lead, lead, you're the league leader in RBIs uh, through just under 30 games. And uh, last week you named American League Player of the Week. I mean, that's pretty impressive. And we're we're still three weeks shy of your 30th birthday. You're not even 30 yet. You've been able to do all that. And, you know, what do, what do you think has been the highlight of your baseball career so far? Uh, you know, the highlight of my career uh, was probably um, coming back from uh, being injured twice in 2008, being kind of ineffective at the major league level, and then coming back the second half of that year and playing really well, kind of establishing myself as a major league player, and then being able to play in the World Series, something I totally didn't expect. You know, you, I went from kind of the bottom as a player, you know, um, at the start of that season where I was injured, not really sure where baseball is going at all. And to the end of the year, I'm, I'm established a little bit more. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, kind of, uh, I'm playing in the World Series. I mean, I mean, those things you just don't plan. You don't think it, that it's possible at the time when you're down and out. And um, you know, I, there's a lot of a lot of players that are way better than I am. And, and 50 years, 100 years from now, nobody will probably remember. Um, that I played, but but really my impact I know is is in the people that I'm around on a regular basis. It's uh, it's in the character that God is building in my heart, um, the things that He wants to do in me and through me. Um, you know, it, it's not about the numbers. You know, those are those are fun and it's it's enjoyable to have a have success at this level. But at the same time, I'm trying to keep it in perspective that you know I'm probably going to be a. a, a uh, baseball player, um, only a few years in my life here, major league baseball player, but you know, hopefully uh, God is doing something in my heart that, that is much bigger than the game. Great guy, one of the nicest guys you find on a baseball field or outside of a baseball field. Family guy, uh, always talking about his wife and his young son. Uh, within the team, it's always about whatever he can do to make the team better or allow that team to win on a given night. Uh, the versatility he gives for Joe Madden is incredible. So the fact that he can play every position but pitcher and catcher, uh, hit, hit with power, steal bases, and do a little bit of everything. And uh, from my perspective as a broadcaster, he gives great interviews. It's not just standard answers. It's always thoughtful answers where he thinks it out. A lot of times it's insightful stuff. And uh, you know, I, I know Ben's uh, a guy that if we ever need any information from him or, or an interview, he's always available. So I really appreciate having someone like Ben Sobers on the team, and I know a lot of the other guys do as well. Let's let's talk uh, let's talk uh, family a little bit. I mean, you uh, you have Christian music ties right in your own home. Your uh, wife Juliana is a is a contemporary Christian singer. And um, tell us about her. How did you guys meet? Well, we met while we were in college um, uh, through a teammate of mine at Olivet Nazarene University. He's married to Juliana's oldest sister, and we were good friends. And so they connected us, and we emailed for a while. Didn't were never in the really the same place. And through a bunch of uh, God experiences, he just kept bringing us back to the same place where we kept running into each other and um, having a chance to um, get to know each other a little bit better and, and eventually I just had, I just knew that that was the person that God wanted me to be with and and um, she felt the same way so it worked out <laughs> but um, you know she's uh, she's incredibly talented she went to college um, to be a, a, a musical performance and, and she's doing that now and she's um, really great at it and, and I think the best is yet to come for her. She's got a lot of um, things kind of on the horizon that are coming up and I mean, I'm really excited for that, for her uh, to get a chance to do what she loves. She, she gets to see me do what I love um, and uh, so I want I want to help her do what she what she loves to do and um, you know, we just try and support each other in those in those things, and at the same time, trying to balance family and uh, and careers and, and those things. You know, we always want to keep first things first. Make sure uh, we are experiencing the Lord throughout all of this, and we are um, growing in in the knowledge and the grace of Christ. But at the same time, we are um, 
take care of Zion and really really plugging into him, you know, and our and, he, and into each other as a family before we do any of this stuff with baseball and music. Um, you know, uh, we really just feel strongly about that. Well, just a couple more questions for you. Um, I'm sure that a lot of kids out there uh, who dream about growing up to play baseball, they're probably wondering, you know, how would I do that? What's your advice to those kids out there who, you know, come to the games, who see Ben Zobris out in the field playing? I mean, what, is, what is your advice to them? Uh, my advice to any aspiring baseball player, anybody that loves this game, um, it, it's it's great to have fun with baseball and enjoy it um, and, and have something that you can learn char the character of hard work um, character of te being a teammate the character of um, uh, learning how to deal with success and failure that's what sports are great for um, but we always need to keep it in perspective I think our culture takes it overboard so easily we uh, we make it into an idol very quickly and and I would, I would warn kids and families um, of doing that because I think, you know, especially as Christians, we're called to love the Lord first and foremost and then love other people second. And, and all the, the fun stuff that we get a chance to do and the fun things that we may get a chance to have, it's all just stuff that eventually will go away, you know. But our relationship with God and our relationship with others, uh, that's the thing that really matters. Um, so, so I would just encourage kids to keep that all in perspective. Well, Ben, best of luck for you the rest of the season. Uh, go out there tonight, get a win, but above all else, go out there and glorify God. Amen. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.